Heliophysics is the study of the sun's impact on everything around us. Some people think that heliophysics is a new discipline, but if you think about it, it was really the most original science branch ever, the sun and its impact on us. NASA's heliophysics division exists to really allow us to understand everything that happens with our nearest star, the sun. Most importantly for us, how it impacts us here at Earth. But at Heliophysics, we look all the way out to the very edge of our solar system. The Heliophysics Science Division is really unique because we have a wide range of scientists and people that build hardware and do modeling and in all sub-disciplines of heliophysics. It's really wonderful to have all these people in the same space so that they can perform cross-disciplinary work. The Heliophysics fleet has key assets in all the really important regions between the Sun and around the Earth, and then even beyond the Earth. We want to look at how the Sun is changing every day, and importantly, how that drives what we see here at Earth. We call that phenomena space weather. Space is not empty. A lot of people don't actually realize that. Space weathers are actually the conditions in space that are dominated pretty much by the sun's activity. The sun can have a lot of activity in terms of solar flares, which are eruptions of radiation, or corona mass ejections, which are big explosions of particles going through space. The work that we do here is very critical, not only to understand the space weather environment, but also to protect the instrumentation of the satellites of the missions that we send out in space, and also the astronauts when we do the human exploration part. It's very important for us to understand that because it's not only for the missions that are already out there in space, but also for the mission planning of those future missions that we're gonna have. Solar physics is a big part of the Heliophysics Science Division here. We have a group of people that not only study the surface of the sun, but also its atmosphere. The hazy atmosphere that you see around the sun during a total solar eclipse is the home to many mysteries. These mysteries we've known about for decades, but the only way to really go and solve them is to actually send a probe on this daring journey to actually sample the material that's right there. Parker Solar Probe for the first time is going into the sun's corona, closer and closer, until we're within four million miles of the sun's surface. Four million miles doesn't sound particularly close, but the sun and the earth are 93 million miles apart. And so if we put that on a meter scale, Parker Solar Probe is about four centimeters from the surface of the sun, and that's close. Parker Solar Probe is going to really enhance our understanding of the Sun and the Earth system. It's going to help us answer some fundamental questions, like how do these very high energetic particles get accelerated near the Sun? And why is the corona, the outer layer of the Sun, so much hotter than the lower parts of the atmosphere? The Heliophysics Division is starting up a new initiative to really now take advantage of our Helio fleet. We're calling it Whole Helio. The whole Helio initiative at NASA aims to do essentially three things. First, it's to bring together a broader community to study heliophysics and answer some of these grand challenges. Second, to bring to bear a greater amount of data on the heliosphere itself than we have in the past. And third, to really embrace new tools and new communities for doing this research. We have all these spacecraft and assets in all these really great locations. And so what we want to do is have this big interdisciplinary program that allows us to use all of these assets kind of as one big tool. As people start to progress into the digital age, we realize that more and more data are becoming available to us and that these data are ways that our different disciplines are tied together. And the data and the tools that we use to analyze those data are ways for us to bridge the gap between those disciplines. Here at NASA, we're actually the global leaders in the heliophysics field. And we have collaborations with other organizations because the whole idea is for actually create a better environment to analyze, study, and understand what the whole heliophysics field is. The future is incredibly bright for NASA's heliophysics division. Uh, we have launched our most daring mission, our Parker Solar Probe mission. We have lots of new missions coming online. So in short, it's a great time to be a heliophysicist.